Well, the verdict ends a painful chapter, and it matters to so many people across Los Angeles, his fans, his family members, who've waited three years now for justice. And, and Brooke is here now to tell us why it matters so much, Brooke. Yeah, absolutely, because, yeah, Nipsey matters, as you've said. You know, his real name is Ermius Ashkadam. He was not only a rapper, he was also a businessman, a community leader, a father of two. He also had a, a stepson. He was a son himself, a brother. Hustle's uh, business break actually came when he created his own clothing line, the Marathon. He opened up a store on the corner of Crenshaw and Slauson, the same neighborhood where he grew up. This space means so much to him. Uh, the plaza is now closed, but the business thrives online. At an elementary school in South L.A., Nipsey Hussle hired an artist to spruce up the basketball court for kids. My mixtapes, my music, my early music was purchased hand-to-hand -hand by the same people in the area that might play on them courts so kids go to that school. You, you know, you're going you gonna to make moves off what's in your heart. Just, in a, just a small example of how important this man still is, his memory, right? In a letter that was read during his funeral service where, by the way, thousands of people showed up, streets blocked off for this service, uh, former President Barack Obama actually wrote. While most folks look at the Crenshaw neighborhood where he grew up and see only gangs, bullets, and despair, Nipsey saw potential. He saw hope. He saw a community that, even through its flaws, taught him to always keep going. And Tony and Roxy, I want to show you this. Look what we found. Um, just something, you know, one of our producers actually noticed. Aaron, this is Brittany Griner coming out of the courtroom today. And look at what she's wearing. Crenshaw t-shirt. Nipsey Hustle's design. She's wearing a t-shirt from the Marathon Clothing oh. Store. Yeah. You know, yeah. um... It's just been interesting because we've seen so many NBA players wearing shirts to support her, and this exact shirt has become kind of an iconic symbol. They, uh, the business couldn't keep up after he passed away with people trying to buy that very T-shirt to show mm. their support mm -hmm. to Nipsey, to his family. And so, you know, the day after, uh, as we said, this chapter kind of ends, we see Brittany Griner going through her own things, but also wearing that shirt that has become... Uh, just a symbol of love for Nipsey and, and who he was. Wow. And, you know, and, and, and her attire has, has been just interesting throughout this, this whole thing. She had a Jimi Hendrix shirt on uh, uh -huh. the other day as well. So it's just, it's just interesting. She's expressing herself as best she can. Exactly. It kind of gave me the chills a little bit when I saw it. It's just, you know... Um, it just, it's just powerful. You know, when, when you see anybody, um, I think that's got to mean a lot to his family. Sure, of course, you know? yeah. All I right. mean, she must have had that packed away, right? When I'm she, sure, yeah, yeah of it's course. Like they yeah, it's brought her that stuff. I mean, I don't know, but I imagine she had that in her possession. In her, in her luggage, yeah. 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 Um,